the metric system. Recall that a measurement is a number plus a unit. A metric system is a very precise, very accurate way to express measurements. But sometimes it's a bit confusing because the number, com the unit component itself has two components, a prefix and a base unit. And the prefix has a number component as well as a unit component. And so that can tend to be confused. For example, look at this expression below, 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. Notice these are identical quantities, but one of these only has one numerical digit and the other one has a new letter that showed up. And it is this letter right here that has buried in it a number component. So let's look at those derived and fundamental units. These are also sometimes called SI units, Scientific International. It's very simple. There are only seven fundamental or SI units in the universe. Every other unit can be thought of as a derived unit. They can be derived or expressed in terms of these seven. Let's look at what the seven are right quick. First of all, there needs to be a, an agreed upon unit for distance and it was agreed by the wizards of smart that that would be the meter they could have chosen inch or mile or anything they wanted they chose the meter standard unit of mass is the kilogram and by the way it is the only si unit that has a prefix in it standard unit of time is the second standard unit of temperature is degrees kelvin not celsius and not fahrenheit the standard unit of an amount of something. And by that I mean if you're counting it, the number of pieces as it were. And that number is called a mole. Standard unit when you deal with electricity or something is called the amp. And finally they needed something to talk about the brightness of light and that is called luminosity and the standard fundamental unit is called a candela. Every other unit in the universe can be expressed in terms of those seven. For example, you can express one mile in terms of meters. That is one of your SI units. You can describe a liter in terms of meters squared. Again, that can be expressed in terms of a meter. A Pascal in physics can be described as a kilogram meter per second squared. And if you notice, kilogram is one of your SI units meters is one of your SI units in seconds. So this somewhat messy diagram shows you the units that you're normally used to, but the fact that every one of these derived units can be expressed in terms of metric SI units. And with that, let's talk about the prefixes. There are literally dozens, dozens of prefixes, but I just want you to put about seven of them to memory. The first one is mega, meaning a million or something. So if you say someone has mega bucks, what you're really saying is they have at least two million dollars. Kilo means a thousand. You might have seen this from some of the crime dramas or whatever, where you have the, the drug pushers selling kilos of cocaine. And of course, kilo is a thousand grams, and that's where that comes from. Now let's talk about a few of the prefixes that represent numbers less than one. Deci is one one-tenth. A good memory device for that is decade is ten years, and deci with an I is one-tenth. One one hundredth is called a centi, and a memory device for that, of course, is century is a hundred years. A millennium is a thousand year period, and one milli of something is one one thousandth. And also notice that uh, these two, kilo and milli, are first cousins, uh, kind of, sort of. One means a thousand, and one is one one thousandth. The next prefix is micro, that's one one millionth of something. Possibly, especially if you're in the medical industry or the science industry at all, you might have used something microliter quantities. It's, a, it's just a very small amount of material 
but uh, microliter syringes are quite common. And also, this is first cousin of mega. Mega is a million something. Micro is one one million. And finally, I want you to know the word nano, the prefix nano. That is one one billionth of something. You've no doubt heard of nanotech industry. Uh, one one billionth of a meter is getting about the length of a large molecule. And indeed, nanotech is, oh, for lack of a better way to put it, that's essentially an industry that deals with making designer molecules and small design, uh, small molecular machines. And with that, there's the seven prefixes that you should put to memory.